couple from St. Revels have been on an emotional roller coaster this week following the collapse of Icelandic internet bank iSave. Mike Davis and Pam Henson faced losing at least £25,000 after the bank went bust, but have been given hope after the chance that Alistair Darling stepped in to guarantee British investors' money. This has come as a huge relief to Mike and Pam, who have planned to use some of the money to pay for their upcoming wedding. FTV spoke to them about their ordeal. Um, I have £78,000 in uh, a fixed rate, one year fixed rate account with iSave, which is due to mature on the 25th of October. So we uh, were really nervous that it might go belly up before the 25th of October. I also had £23,000 in, in a fixed rate bond, which I couldn't get out either. Um, so it was a bit of a shock, uh, particularly as we chose iSave because we thought putting money in a bank was much safer. It's been a real roller coaster because we haven't been able to get accurate information. There have been conflicting stories. There have been stories about the Icelandic um, bank not having any money to pay the compensation for the first part. And then real shock this morning, but delight, hopefully, that uh, the Chancellor and Prime Minister have announced that all savers' deposits and ice save will be guaranteed. The new half a million pound visitor centre at Beechenhurst Lodge was officially opened this week. FTV was there for the opening ceremony and spoke to Forestry Commission Deputy Surveyor Rob Guest about the completion of the state-of-the-art building. It's taken nearly eight years to get this extension to fruition. And we've tried to build a building here that really does match the existing building so it doesn't take anything away from what people know and understand as Beechenhurst it's, it's enhancing it and so what this now gives us the opportunity it gives us the opportunity to seat for example a coach load of people in the cafe which we couldn't do before it's also released the old cafe area so we've now got a retailing area that we're going to be able to use to promote local produce and we're very very keen to be able to support all those craftsmen the food producers and people around the forest by giving them a place where they can uh, promote their wares and we can, we can sell that for them. So it's going to act as a, a link and we're also going to run the tourist information point from here. So it's really going to be a centre of the forest and the aim is it's going to promote the forest. Pantod Miners Memorial has been badly damaged by thieves. Rudin Hill Residents Association Chairman Morris Bent spoke to FTV about the damage to the famous landmark. We are, as a committee, the Rorian Hill Residents Association, are very aggrieved about this. This memorial was dedicated in May to the miners who lost their lives in the Forest of Dean. How anyone could desecrate a memorial for £20 worth of scrap, I do not know. We are now looking uh, to replace what has been stolen and we would appreciate any donations from anyone who would care to donate money to, to us to replace it all. And finally, Puzzlewood served up a spot of sorcery this week when it was used as a location for hit BBC drama Merlin. Film crews spent three days working their magic at the ancient iron mines near Colford, shooting scenes for upcoming episodes of the drama which follows the early life of Arthurian wizarding wonder Merlin. One scene features a dramatic sword fight between stars Colin Morgan, who plays Merlin, and Bradley James, who plays a young King Arthur. The crew used two sites in the woods and also shot scenes at Simmons Yacht after the sites were recommended by a BBC location scout. The episodes featuring Puzzlewood are expected to be aired on November the 29th and December the 6th. That's all from FTV this week. For more on these stories and the rest of the week's news, including teenage drug addicts may be to blame for the death of Broadwell eccentric Adrian Grimster, opposition to council plans to splash £400,000 on a new reception area, and a free starter or dessert at the Speech House Hotel for every reader. Don't forget to pick up a copy of this week's paper. You can also keep up to date with breaking news by visiting thisisgloucestershire.co.uk. Thanks for watching FTV. Goodbye.